And now we move on to how to connect it with a Java program, how to access this database from a Java program. Let's go ahead and open up Eclipse. Let's create a new dynamic web project. Project. Okay, let's open up this folder and let's move the uh, two required jar files into the folder. Let's do a refresh. And let's add those JDBC drivers into the build path and also the uh, deployment assembly. Add them into the class path. Apply. And also add it to the deployment assembly so that Tomcat can use it. So let's open up this link. Let me turn off this dark mode for now. Let's take a look at creating a user and let's go to this link. Let's log in again. So these are the same pages actually. Let's go to users. Do you create user account? Let's call it test. Password would be password again, really secure. And let's allow any host. Create. Let's click on this. Let's use JSON. Let's add the JSON, move it into a folder as well. And in our runtime configurations, let's go run as, run configurations. Let's first do Tomcat, environment, new. The name would be all caps, Google, application, credentials and the value will actually be hard coded I think in this case which is the path to the JSON file and let's also add the jar files over here to Tomcat in the class path and we can close this. Now let's go back to our cloud platform page. Let's search for cloud SQL. There we go. We just want to make sure if it's turned on or not, if it's enabled. And indeed it is enabled. It says enabled. And just go back and let's go to the connections tab and indeed we authorize public IPs so we're fine and we're not using SSL which is good because we don't want to have any trouble connecting now let's try to write something that connects to our SQL database actually let's add a servlet we have to make a new package first. Let's 
Sir Lit, last name, JDBC demo. So now let's make sure that whenever we run our web server, it goes directly to the servlet. So right click on your project, Java EE tools, generate deployment descriptor stub. And yeah, I'm still going. And in your web INF, you can see this web.xml. In your welcome file, just add typo just add this not including the slash and now let's try running our web project see if it goes to the servlet if it does it should print something on the screen it's a little bit slow again all right let's go try to run this Okay, so our servlet is working. Now let's write some JDBC code to test things up, shall we? So first of all, we need our database name. Our database, I believe it was named test. Yep. Now I have to type up in our instance would be this one. Let's try that again. All right, we're in. We don't have any errors. We are successfully connected to our Cloud SQL database. Now recall that we have some test entries in our database. As you can see here, this is what we did. So why don't we try and retrieve that and see if we can get the values back, see if it really works. And indeed, we get Jeff. So congrats. Now you have your Java application being able to access things on your Google Cloud platform. Fantastic, right? All right, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, if you want to learn about how to use SQL commands and all the other stuff, check out my other video dedicated to uh, MySQL, how to construct a database and how to run queries or insert, insert stuff. Um, it's getting late, so I'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Thank you. Bye-bye.